so disappointed. I wanted to go up to the totem. Catch you later, Warren, for our date. If Max is not too thick headed to realize that. They look like they're David having talking a to Nathan argument. cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or how about the... Only we know about the gun. Yo, bus driver. I didn't realize you'd be leaving the campus immediately. But yeah, let's go. Listen to our music while we're at it. Try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. There she is. The multi transcendent woman who keeps changing her clothes and hair style and color. Uh. <laughs> So, take a picture of this thing then, yeah? No? There's a picture here and I'm not missing it for the sake of me. Hey old man, what were you speaking about? No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Dude, I've been playing the Euro Millions for since March 2012. It hasn't happened yet. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. <laughs> I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Chloe, what's up? Running late. Grab a, a boot at the dinner table. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. So, you're the one who's late. Ah, my lord, woman. What are you doing? Stop doing mischiefy things. Nope, I don't want to go there. Yeah, but it looks like it's explorable. Why can't you explore everything else? That sucks.
hole to another universe. Okay. Explore. Oh, doggy. Hi, doggy. RV. Look. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Doggy is bone related, right? Window. It's still there. Obviously, nobody took my advice. Obviously. Yo! You need to uh, train your dog to be less vicious. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barky. Really? You just can walk away? There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. We need something for a dog to take a photo of him, right? That's what I'm getting there. Yo, you got anything I can give it to a dog? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. I mean, okay, there, we read it. Yo! Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. Ew. If that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Sorry to hear that your fishing has been neutered. Pretty much been neutered. Alright, moving on. Can I walk up here? Newspapers. Yo! Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Yeah, sure. Snow. Yo, my dude. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Is that it? Those fucking birds are everywhere. Oh, can I go down here? Homeless dude. I hear a fence. Is that the dog? Mm, no. But you have something I can give to the dog. Fuck yeah, I'm glad I explored this shit. Warden, are you here? It's your car, right? I'll talk to you in a minute, I'm exploring. Yo, I need the hot dog. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. You look Yes, blind. I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell. And this town. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family. Especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. What do you mean, almost? 
You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I'm pretty sure he's not. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. Can I have your hot dog? I know you're homeless and all, but I need that for the dog. Unless there's something in here I can give to the dog. Maybe I'm supposed to take a pole through the fence. Uh. Fire truck. Oh, this is where I take the photo. Through the fence. All right. This will do. I got my dog photo. Now I need this one. One of the diner? I don't know. It's a little bit out of order. Right, so we've got almost all our photos. Now I need to figure out what I need to do about the diner, about its photo. Is it from this angle? Or is the diner just a hint? And take a photo inside? Lady, you keep changing your hair and your clothes. Actually, you're a different lady. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Okay, so... How do I take a picture of it? Well, I don't know, so I'm going inside. There's nothing obvious about it. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Sorry. I know uh, it's rude to talk to strangers, but like, come on. The game's giving me the options. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? I forget where you're from, but you sound crazy. Crazy's okay with me. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Yeah? This guy has serious cojones. Yeah, sure, serious cojones. Why does that so not sound fun? Who knows? I might make Chloe check this out with me. Yeah, I don't see why you shouldn't. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Yeah, no sh shit. Hey. It's positive. Okay, uh... Graffiti. Thank you, redneck poet. Yeah, thank you. Well, that's a picture. That graffiti has been here forever. Can't wash away history. Gross. Photo.
Okay, so we've got all of these, but I managed to miss this one. I swear, if this gets nuked, I am going to be so pissed. That better still be an option. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Oh yeah? I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Fuck it, do it anyway. Give a shit. Hey, dude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay, if I could help you, I would. I'll buy you another beer. Officer. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. I'm not lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Definitely grilled mac and cheese. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. <laughs> uh. uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. It I just tell me. the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Yeah, sure. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. <laughs> at the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Take care, officer. Trucker. You might be fun to talk to. I don't feel like talking right now. Never mind. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Burger looks delicious. Hey, little trucker. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. <laughs> How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. Worship? I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Don't be so salty, my dude. Guys! <coughs> I know you two, kinda. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Yeah, sure. Justin, my dude. How 
jealous are you? What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. It's nice to know you're taking it so well. Oh. I take a picture from here? No. Let me talk to more people. And uh, well, let me check out some more things. Drool. Oh. Want everything. Is that the picture right there? This thing? No. Wall of Fame. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Fuck yeah. Jukebox picture. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. Yeah, use. Fuck yeah! That's funny. Our family never went well watching. Really? It looks fun. Yeah, I know I can take the booze and progress the story, but I... Uh, TV. Coming up at noon, KBay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. Yeah, sure, whatever you say, my dude. Now, I, before I progress the story, want to figure out about taking a certain picture. I feel like I'm about to skip this one. Oh, look, the thing up there. I didn't see that. Was that always there? I'm glad I came back outside. I almost missed that one. Fucking motherfucker. All right, I don't have to worry anymore. I finally got my picture. I still always been there and I was just an idiot. Maybe I wasn't close enough. Now we can progress the story. Oops. Yo, Joycey baby. What can you do me for? And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, 
I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. <laughs> you think so? But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Well, I'll be... Oh. Fucking bacon! I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. Now Although, finish your coffee. I would love a bacon waffle mashup. That would be great. That would be a perfect mixture. Okay. One bacon omelette for the young lady, stat. Right. Uh, stay there. Right. So, one, four, two, gun, deer, science, thing. Right. We're done in here. No more photos. Bacon Just look around. Drink. I love. Sorry. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Are the prices more expensive? Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Maybe. Drink. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming! Yo! I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. I hope I have money. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Looks fucking Still can't gorgeous. believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, but woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> you guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? Why? What is this shit on the jukebox? That wasn't that bad. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. 
Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Uh, you have to show me first. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. That's what you think. You need to look... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Keep up hand of a heart. Smokes. Money. Uh... One dollar... And six cents. Right? Out of parking bay. Brinks, 10.34 a.m. Alright. Thank you! Uh, hello? Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? I didn't fucking count them. Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's a panda with a heart on it. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Oh, fuck you. Said a quarter, right? Quarters are what? Twenty-five cents each. This is all wrong, then. Or is it twenty? I know she has six cents. Then she has to other shy. So. Okay. Eighty-six cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Oh, Show me more. Oh, 86 cents. Yeah, okay. No, uh, um, whatever. Maybe I don't know what a quarter is. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Uh, 10.40. 10.34 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. Yeah. Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than Absolutely I remember. Absolutely. Very dominant. good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. That's easy, but I have to I will predict first. the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? 
You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm paying attention. That's the best song I've this heard. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Okay. So, what are you waiting for? Patience. Okay, that's it then, yeah. All right. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay, so first, Joyce, Trevor drops his glass. Cop drops his glasses. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? I don't remember. <laughs> And his partner leaves, right? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Not yet. Let's see. Uh... Uh, I don't remember this part. Fuck! Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. I hope this that's right. getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. There's one more. A woman went to the bathroom. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. <laughs> you predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? Even I didn't see I that. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You Why? need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. A sidekick Show me necessary. the way to Chloe's cave. You're just gonna leave all the food there? That's a waste of sausages. We have to actually go to you? Hey, dude. No, no more dialogue. You! I said over and out. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, hello. I'd love to lecture you over coffee, but I prefer to drink in silence and solitude. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Leave me alone, or I will vomit on you. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Hey, lady. Oh yeah, hello again. Back to breakfast, eh? Okay, bye bye. Let's just leave. Actually, hang on, guys. What's up? Anything new to speak about? See you around, Max. Sure. Let's talk later when I'm not so high. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. 
Good lord! Oh, really? Okay. So, I have to choose Kate Marsh, who really needs a friend, or Rachel, who I can see later. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. Won't forget I swear. what? Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. So salty. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. It is what it is. It's the better scenario, because, well, Kate needs a friend. 